Hey everybody, it's Sandra Deluxe, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get this date night glitter eye. Thank you so much to Sephora for sending me over some products in collaboration with their July Rebel Eyes trend. I'm so excited for this look, whether you're going on your first date where you're trying to trap somebody, an already established bay, I think this is a really nice look for summer. Stay tuned if you want to see how to get this sexy, glamorous look. But we've got some work to do first. I'm gonna go in with my Bosha Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. This is great to take your makeup off, but I'm using it to even out my skin, give it a nice deep cleanse. I'm gonna rinse it off with water and then pat my skin dry. I like using oil for cleanser because my skin is very dry. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Clinique. Pepstart Eye Cream. This totally hydrates my skin, brightens it, which is nice if you're gonna be up late on a date night, you wanna have well-rested looking eyes. Next, I'm gonna use my Tarte Amazon Clay Foundation mixed with the Maracuja Oil. The color foundation that I'm wearing is in deep sand, and I'm going to blend it all over my skin using a damp beauty blender sponge. So I'm dabbing on a light layer first and I'm going in with a second layer of just foundation without the oil over top. So the oil is going to help to make it blend, give a little bit of hydration. Next with the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer, I've got a Tarte double-ended brush. One end has kind of like a blending side and the other side has a angled brush. So I'm going to use the blending side to highlight underneath my eyes and cover any areas that might need a little bit more coverage. So because my skin on my face is a little lighter, I like to use a darker foundation that'll match my body and then go in with a super bright concealer to blend it all together. That way it gives you a natural highlight and contour with minimal effort. Same thing, I'm blending over top with my damp beauty blender sponge and I'm doing it in a tapping motion just to kind of lay the concealer in place. Next with my Anastasia Gleam Glow Kit, I'm using my 53 Sephora Pro Full Coverage Airbrush and I'm going right on the highest point of my face, so top of the cheekbones, top of the lip, down the center of the nose. And with my Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Bronze Bronzer, I'm going to use the color 35i to sculpt the sides of my nose because it's a little bit of a cooler color and to start my contour right underneath the hollows of my cheek. I'm using my Tarte Paddle Brush that I am doing my first contour with and then I'm going to go into the Pro Fusion Bronze in the color 30M to warm up my cheekbones and to bronze a little bit. Next, with the other side of that Tarte brush, the angle brush side, I'm gonna fill in my brows using Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade in the color Auburn, and I'm drawing a line along the bottom row of hair first and shaping the top where I want my hair to be. Then I'm just flicking it upwards to fill it in. Next with my Estee Edit by Estee Lauder Metalla Shadow Cream and Powder in the color Scarlet Eclipse. I'm going to go into the top part which is kind of like a primer. It's a deep red berry color and I'm going to use my fingers just to kind of sculpt out the shape that I want to do and to add a little bit of color. So with this, because it's a cream, I like to start with a little bit of product and tap it around the areas that I want and then blend it with a clean finger outwards. I'm also going to darker the inner corners of my eyes just to kind of get a halo effect with the shadow. When I think of Rebel eyes I think breaking all the rules having it not a hundred percent flawlessly perfect and having it a little bit edgy so being a rebel in your application too I'm going in with my fingers next with the touch and soul metalist liquid foil and glitter shadow duo in the color Lottie I'm going to go into the liquid side and I'm going to use this as a base to lay down a little bit of depth underneath my lower lash line and on the outer and inner corners of my eyes as tight as I can to my lash line this is just going to add a little bit of of depth and be a base for when I go over into the glitter side. It gives it something to stick to. Next with the glitter side I'm just going to tap it in those areas that I just put the liquid side and I'm going to give it a finger blend. Next with the Touch and Soul Metalist Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duo in the color Talia I'm going to tap that right in the inner corners of my eyes and in the center of my lids. I'm going to flip it around to the glitter side and brighten up the inner corners of my eyes and then again giving it a tap to finger blend. I'm going to go back into my Estee Edit Metalla Shadow Cream and Powder in the color Scarlet. I'm going into the bottom part this time which is a beautiful 
kind of ash gold color and I'm tapping it all over the center of my eyes to give a nice halo effect. Next with the Makeup Forever Excessive Lash Mascara. This is awesome and it does put a lot on which I am so about with mascara. I'm going to flick some on the top and bottom lashes. And to really bring this all together, I'm going to use my lashes by Velour. Next, I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in the shade Insanity. And I'm going to give it a nice rub together on the lips. Then I'm going to use my Artist Plexi Gloss in the color 100P by Makeup Forever just to finish it off. So there you have it, we have our Sephora Rebel Eyes Trend, a nice, sexy, summer date night look. You can share your Rebel Eyes Trends by using the hashtag Rebel Eyes or Trending at Sephora. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much to Sephora. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and follow, and love yourself, and stay pretty, and I'll see you guys again in the next video. Take care.